Until recently, just about the only way to secure an area against enemy access without using up personnel was to scatter it with deadly landmines. These were definitely effective. The moment an approaching vehicle or person touched the mine, well, it's over. For a very good reason, landmines are no longer an option for Western coalition forces. For one thing, after they are deployed, they are almost impossible to decommission. So they'll stay hidden and active for years, even decades after a conflict has passed. More importantly, they are indiscriminate. A landmine will kill or maim anyone who steps onto it, soldier or civilian, adult or child. There is a real need for a device that can be left unattended and trusted to isolate an area while sending out a big no-entry message. So, how do you give the battlefield commander that capability without the baggage attached to landmines? You try something completely different, something revolutionary. That amazing something is the intelligent munition system. The IMS will use the most sophisticated technology available to actually distinguish a potential target from an innocent passerby. The man in the loop will always be an option, but even acting autonomously, an array of sensors will gather acoustic, magnetic, and seismic data about everything approaching it to determine what it is, how it's moving, and whether or not it's a threat. The system is currently under development for the U.S. Army at White Sands Military Testing Range in New Mexico. Systems Program Manager Henry Fenerell talked me through the components of the very latest prototype. This is the intelligent munition system. Uh, it's really made up of two major elements. One is the dispensing module, which is the part that gets put into the field. And over here we have uh, the control station, which is made up of a uh, ruggedized laptop computer as well as a transceiver. And this device would be put in a remote location for the operator to oversee the field. The dispenser module is the business end of this device. As well as the smart electronics, it usually contains two different types of munitions. The anti-vehicle munitions are based on the sensor fuse weapon sublet technology uh, and is a top attack system. If a target vehicle triggers the IMS, a gas generator propels a small explosive sublet out of a launching tube. It spins as it climbs, scanning the ground below with its infrared sensors in an ever-increasing circle. If it finds a target, the sublet ignites the warhead, creating an explosively formed penetrator to take it out. This doesn't come back down to the ground unused. If, it's, if it doesn't find a target once it's fired in the air, it will self-destruct, won't it? That's correct. It leaves a clean battlefield. This airborne approach allows one sublet to cover an area of over 80,000 square feet. That means just one IMS module is much more effective than dozens of landmines. And even if you have the guts to possibly try and carefully pick out a safe route through a minefield, well, that risky option is made impossible by the IMS. The bolt from the blue approach will enable IMS to shape the battlefield in a way that has never been done before. We want to put the enemy at a disadvantage. We want to put him in our kill zone. That's all about shaping the battlefield, channeling him, making him go where we want to kill him. And that's where IMS is key. This is a super smart destroyer that can act unsupervised or under the control of a remote human operator. It's a quantum leap from the old indiscriminate landmine. This is not a mine. This is a uh, munition system. We don't have to bury it. You know, it's there. Uh, it can be camouflaged so the enemy doesn't see it. Uh, the, uh, the vehicle, be it a tank or whatever, does not have to run over this in order to be uh, engaged. As long as that target is within the engagement area, 
we can engage that target. Because you're not using anything that really gives you a clear image. How do you track what a vehicle is or what type of vehicle is? Well, we, through the combination of the seismic and acoustic data that we get, we can classify the uh, particular target down to either being a track or wheel vehicle. And then depending on how much information we have on that particular target, we track it, we get it into a quadrant where we know this uh, target is, and then the terminal sensor, we determine this is exactly uh, how it's coming, how fast it's coming. We can determine which is the best effect to actually launch at that target. The aerial submunition is specifically designed to take out enemy vehicles. But the IMS has another trick up its miniature metal sleeves. We can also sense uh, personnel even trying to crawl up to this system. And if so, it'd be engaged by these grenades here. So the system is tamper-proof. Uh, there's no way to sneak up on it or, or get access to it unless we want you to have access to it. It's certainly more effective than a landmine, but knowing precisely when not to fire is what makes the IMS a truly smart addition to the future theater of war. We know we need to pass a, a unit, friendly unit through. With the IMS, we can still deny the enemy the use of that terrain. We can turn the field off or put it in a safe passage mode and allow the friendlies to go through and then rearm that field um, after they get through so that, that we're protected at that point. Which is something we've never really been able to do. We've never been able to do that before. We're still showing an executed status here. Tom Fry has positioned his command and control vehicle here at White Sands. I'm taking the battlefield commander's seat to see how easy it is to get the system switched off and safe. IMS, this is H2. IMS. H2 is requesting entry into the field, so please disarm the IMS field. H2, IMS, stand by. So it's, it's great. You have a bunch of sensors out there. They, they've already locked off that area. You know that's, a, that's an area you control. If you want to make it friendly, you, can, you have the power to do that with IMS. If you want to turn it back up and make it uh, a, a no-go zone, you can do that. IMS built in safe passage, over. Roger that. Thank you, uh, IMS. So we can grant it safe passage? Grant it safe passage. And because it's a fully networked system, the battlefield commander knows that the area is covered. When multiple units are deployed in the same area, they communicate amongst themselves to give the operator an even clearer picture of any possible target. And if your battlefield commander decides to change tactics, the system can be easily recovered and reused. Conventional uh, mines used to be spread all over the field. This system here, you can put far fewer of these out there. You know exactly where they are. So if uh, a conflict is over, you can easily, through the control station, uh, turn the system off, go out, recover it, and bring it in and use it again. There are even plans to include non-lethal versions which use rubber pellets, further ensuring that innocent lives are protected. The intelligent munition system does what no landmine could ever do. It's thinking for the 21st century.